Hello, I'm Jeremiah, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I took these one, two, three blocks to proper dimension and hardness using a heat treat oven and a surface grinder. Here we go. So it's been about eight months since I quit my job and enrolled in trade school to study machining. This summer, I enrolled in a class called heat treatment and surface grinding. Heat treatment is when you heat up a part in order to increase its hardness. And surface grinding is when you want to clean up the surface after heat treatment and also bring a part into very precise dimensions. We're talking to the 10 thousandths of an inch. My final project in heat treatment and surface grinding was grinding and heat treating these one, two, three blocks. They get their name from the dimension, one, two, three blocks, one inch by two inch by three inch. So now that you have the context, watch as I heat treat and surface grind these parts. I started out by numbering and engraving my one, two, three blocks with my initials on a CNC mill. This was done with a tiny ball nosed end mill bit. Then it was on to the heat treat oven. I had to seal the blocks in a stainless steel foil wrap to make it airtight. Once it had been in the oven for the right amount of time at the proper temperature, it was time to remove them and let them cool. Whoa, that's awesome. Oh, it's glowing. Wow. After about an hour, they were cool enough to touch, but the surface finish was pretty nasty. I stoned one side of both blocks to prepare them to be placed on the magnet on the surface grinder. I used three different kinds of grinders over the course of this project. This first one is an NC grinder, and it's the easiest to use as it does all of the work for you. After cleaning up the first face, I flipped it over and started taking the blocks down to their one inch dimension. In the precise world of machining, they're way too big, about five thousandths of an inch too big. I check the final dimension and I nail it, one inch exactly. Next, I clamped one of the blocks in a vise in order to clean up the surface of the two inch side. Here I'm using a manual surface grinder, and it could double as a workout machine. Then I clean off the magnet and turn the vise over and clean up the three inch side. I removed the block from the vise and it is now ready to be taken to its final dimensions. For the second block, the assignment called for using an angle plate. I clamp the 1-2-3 block to the plate using clamps and test that it's level. Then the plate is set directly on the magnet. I clean up the 2 inch side as before and then prepare the plate to be flipped on its side, being careful to keep two clamps connected at any one time to make sure it remains perpendicular. And now this block is also ready to be taken to its final dimensions. Now that I have two flat sides, I can place these parts directly on the magnet and finish them up. I use magnet blocks to add a bit more rigidity to the part since there is less surface area connecting my block to the magnet. The most important part of the process is making sure the magnet is on or else the part will be shot across the room. This third kind of grinder moves on its own forwards and backwards and left and right, but it doesn't advance the depth of cut like the NC grinder, so it still requires a little bit of babysitting. I check each block's final dimensions with gauge blocks and a dial indicator. Then I check them against each other. They're just about perfect. The final step is to have a coordinate measuring machine, or CMM, test the blocks. This measures very precise dimensions and also tests that the parts are parallel and perpendicular.
Thanks for following along. I hope it gave you a glimpse into this new world of machining that I find myself in. There's something really satisfying about surface grinding that uh, combines precision with like the rhythm of the machine. And I don't know, I just, I liked it way more than I expected to. I thought this would be a class that I just kind of have to get through. Now that it's over, I'm actually a little sad. I, I hope I get to do more work on the surface grinder as I continue my journey in uh, trade school. That'll do it for this week. Be sure to like and subscribe, ring the bell to be notified the next time I upload a video, and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Jeremiah Dawes, and you can see more regular postings about uh, projects between the uh, bigger videos that I post. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Whoa! Oh.